Those very touching deeds. It appears this divestiture has been defeated. Unless I'm forgetting something. Oh. My 300 million votes plus the 5 million votes I control as proxy for the foreign investors. So which way should I vote my 51%? I vote I. 305 million times. The eyes have it. And Blake Media is no more. Not so fast, Chuck. Too bad for you, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a good reporter. Miss Bennett, I wasn't aware that you were a stockholder. There's a couple things you're not aware of. Like how to tweeze your eyebrows, for instance. Also, when Deeds gave away his fortune, he gave away something that wasn't his. What are you talking about? I have here the diary of Preston Blake. I stole it and read it. Please don't be mad at me. I did it for good reasons, I promise. I would like to read a passage from Mr. Blake's diary dated April 12th, 1957. I am a volcano of lust. I've gotten I've this far in business by following my heart. And I must follow it now in love. If she just gives me a sign, an opening. Want me to wipe the leaves on your bike stream, Mr. Blake? You can call me Preston. Want me to wipe the leaves on your ficus tree, Preston? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yes! <laughs> Who was this mystery woman? I have here the Blake Media Ledger sign-in book from April 1957. On the night of the 12th, there was only one woman working on Preston Blake's floor. Sadly, nine months later, she died giving birth to a son, a son born January 23rd, 1958. That is my birthday. To a Miss Consuela Lopez. That is my mother. And the rightful heir to $40 billion. That is my money? A simple DNA test will show that Emilio Lopez is the majority stockholder to Blake Media. That is my money. That's no money. That is my money, Animo! Way to go, Emilio! I will do good things, good things for everyone. Free from ignorance for all. People, people, please. That is my money. Don't be misled. These are all lies. Mr. Cedar, you are fired. You can't fire me! I'm in control! Get your hands off me! I'm just there! At the lake, when you saved my life, which I never got a chance to properly thank you for. You're welcome. You said that you didn't know who I was, and it made me realize I don't know who I am. So, so I started working on it, and here's what I got so far. My name is Babe Bennett. I grew up in Syosset, Long Island. I have brown eyes, and I don't know what my natural hair color is anymore. When I was in fifth grade, I got a crush on Walter Cronkite, and, and I really did have that Holly Hobby notebook I was telling you about. I love Bruce Springsteen, Almond Roca, and Abbott and Costello movies. I, I don't like licorice or my ankles. More importantly, I know that I messed up real bad, and I'd be willing to spend the rest of my life begging you to give me another chance, because I am so deeply in love with you. And I know that it's definitely that forever kind of love that... You're crazy. You have beautiful ankles. <laughs> I'd uh, like to stay. I think I can really do some good if I just got another chance. Not fired. But tomorrow morning, you let me change your socks. Okay. And you, long, long, long fellow, you are the one who made all this possible with your beautiful words and your beautiful spirit. And Miss Bennett, with her beautiful research. How can I thank you? All I want is your friendship, Emilio. You're a good man. I'll miss you. Deeds. How about a billion dollars? All right. Done.